welcome back to another week in my life in new york city this one is going to be themed all around productivity you guys know i i feel like i'm a pretty productive person a lot of you guys tell me you watch me to get inspired to be more productive um which makes me happy i designed my own planner with doing all well daily this is what it looks like there's a single day on each page i literally fill it out every single day every single morning i love it so much and i have a ton of little like productivity tips and also just programs I use so like I'm gonna show you guys when I'm editing an Instagram reel I know a lot of you guys are content creators what I do I've been trying to get into more of short form content along with YouTube like how I edit my thumbnails just a little bit of everything um, just kind of getting into more of the nitty-gritty of what I do for work rather than just like hee hee yay life woo well, there'll be a little bit of that but um, kind of more so going in depth on lots of different topics. So I'm excited to take you guys along. I'm about to hop on a Zoom meeting. So I actually was dressed up today because we, Brooke and I, had a breakfast meeting with a PR company this morning that was really, really lovely. I feel like it's really bright, my camera. Um, and I was gonna take all my makeup off because that's my favorite thing to do when I get home. But I was like, you know what? I'll wait until this call, which is in four minutes. And then afterwards, because it's, it's typically video. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. It's actually a campaign that I'm doing with a brand. We're just kind of going over um, the deliverables, kind of the content. And then this campaign in specific is something where I actually will get to... I don't know how to not give it away. But it's something I'm going to have to work on for a little bit, which I'm really excited about. So I think we were talking about that. But right now, I've been trying to get more into Instagram Reels because I've been enjoying them. I like TikTok too, but I've been really having a lot of fun with Instagram Reels in particular. Um, so for example, right now I'm on, I edit all of my videos, Instagram Reels, everything with Final Cut Pro. I've used it for years. For a long time, I used iMovie. It's very similar, but Final Cut just allows you to do a few extra things. So that's why I use it. So I find some people like to edit their short form content on their phones. I use the app called InShot on my phone, but on my computer, I just, my fingers don't cramp as much, all of that. So I upload, I just filmed, I was like, you know what? I have this tote bag. I have a ton of stuff in it. I love seeing what's in people's bags. I'm very nosy. Um, and it used to be a thing on YouTube. You would, I mean, I still kind of should do like a what's in my bag video. But basically, I uploaded, I airdropped all the clips. Nothing like just airdrop to MacBook. It is the best feature ever. It's like these things just go in the cloud and then they're on your computer. And then I edit on here. So right now I'm going through all the clips. And well, I went through all the clips. I rough cut and now I'm adding the text. And I actually, I try to do the, the fonts on Instagram, but I actually just found this font that looks very similar to the Instagram font. Like this is the Instagram font I use on my stories typically it's called saban pro it looks very similar it's not the exact same i couldn't find the exact same but i'm like this is pretty good and it's just way easier to add text on my computer and type it out rather than like squishing it and editing it so it's at the perfect clip like this just is better on my fingers and uh yeah so i'm just kind of going over that right now i literally like just copied and pasted the first text and then, okay, so those are my blue light glasses. Now I'm going to my, um, I don't even know what this is called, like external light, like light for photos. I don't, I need to like look up what, I always just call it the light. And then I'm just copying paste so it's in the same spot for each clip. And I think it's looking good so far. And then I'll airdrop it back to my phone and then I'll post on Instagram. So I was just kind of doing that while I was waiting for my call. But it's 2.29. And I'm actually going to grab a kombucha because I don't know why, but it's way more fun to do work when you have a fun little beverage to drink, whether it's coffee or tea or whatever. Today, mine's going to be health aid kombucha. This is the pomegranate and tan... Oh, this is just pomegranate flavor, which I actually haven't tried. And it is literally about to be 2.30. Yeah. All right, let's hop on the call. Okay, this one is on Microsoft Teams. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, how are you? I'm so good, sorry if you can hear all the sounds of New York City, I have to keep my window open because the call went so well, she was so cool and sweet, and I love when people that work for the brand 
like actually know my content she was like i love your podcast like i think your content is so authentic like i love everything you do that means a lot to me because i'm like oh you like actually wanted to work with me for a specific reason so i always appreciate that and we kind of just went over their campaign and i love when brands do this when i basically talked because i obviously say yes or no to a deal because i want to work with the brand and i like what they're all about and so i was really excited about this one and she was very like how do you think you would infuse this into your life like we want to make the content very organic and I basically shared with her what I thought. She thought that was perfect. She was like, if you just add this and that, we're good. It's so perfect. So now I'm just going to get back to editing this reel. And then I have so many emails that I need to go through. Like, I always respond to, like, the really, really important ones, like, day of, if it's, like, a question that's, like, really necessary. But then, like, every few days I have, like, a... I time batch like an hour to emails where I'm just replying, 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 and it feels really good. I'm, I'm a fast replier, but like if certain ones it's like not needed to be replied right away, like I prioritize the other ones first. But anyways, I'm just going to keep editing and then post that and then emails. This has tended to be my go-to playlist on Spotify for when I'm doing emails because I can't have words while I'm trying to write words, if that makes sense, or read words. So we go deep focus on Spotify. I have it on right now. Okay, hi, still here doing emails. I don't know what my hair looks like. I literally just pulled it back with a claw clip to get out of my face. But I'm finding that keeping my makeup on is actually making me more productive because I'm not as like relaxed. I'm not touching my face. I don't need to like curl up in a ball because I have makeup on. I'm being very like, it's working for me today. Not always, sometimes it's bothering me, but it's not bothering me today. I'm meeting with a financial planner later this week, which I've never done before. I were, I do a lot of investments. I'm very smart with my money, I, I feel. I have a lot in savings. But, um, like, I honestly rely on my parents a lot to, like, for their advice. And they have great advice. But the other day, my dad was kind of like, maybe ask your accountant if she has any recommendations for a financial planner. Um, because there's just lots of things to think about. Like, in a few years, I'll want to buy a house or some sort of property. Um, stuff like that. And it would be really nice to have a financial planner that I work with to kind of lay everything out and create a whole plan. So, I had one initial call with her. And then my next call, she sent me a list of everything, like basically anything to do with my finances, like what accounts I have, what investments I have, any like student loans, stuff like that, just writing it all down and having that ready for our call on Thursday. And then the third call is going to be like her proposing a plan to me and if I want to work with her. But so far I'm liking her, so probably. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I thought, I, oh my God, I'm sorry, my hair looks bad. Okay. I literally love DocuSign so much. Kind of crazy, but I actually have a legal team. And so anytime I work with a brand, they write up a contract, they work on all the deliverables, they go through the, they redline everything for me, which is so amazing. And I'm so grateful for that. And they take a percentage, obviously, of the deal, but I could not do it without them. So they, whenever we have an agreement, they send it to me and I sign it via DocuSign. I look it over, but for the most part, I'm paying them to make sure that they're taking care of me and making sure I'm okay. So I trust them and then I sign it and it's the easiest thing ever. So. I love DocuSign and I, again, I'm sorry, I look like a crazy person right now. All right, my email inbox is cleared and my text graveyard is cleared too. That's the best when you have like a couple texts that you hadn't responded to yet and you just, all of your notifications are gone. It's a, it's a lovely feeling, truly. I'm gonna finish it off for dessert by paying my credit card bill, but it's one thing that does need to get done. I don't want any interest or late fees or any of that stuff. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do some other things <laughs> that's just me updating you on this productivity vlog you know hopefully this is inspiring you guys so by the time this video is up our gals on the go merch has released we have a new drop coming or it's already it's already here um you can shop it on fandroid.co or you can go to it from gals on the go podcast.com it's our block me collection and we just got all of our edited photos back from our photographer madison lane she's amazing if you live in new york city so i'm just going through these are the ones so we basically selected I love this website, pixieset.com. That's what she used to upload the photos. And then we go on here and favorite the ones, and then she edits only of our favorited ones. So these are the edited ones. I'm obsessed with this collection. It's like this fun block me, unblock me hoodie. I love our new graphic um, tease too. Like, look how sick. So I'm just going through, and I'm going to airdrop all these to my phone because you guys know how much i love airdrop my dad's calling me i will call him back in a second and i'm gonna plan a post for the gals in the go podcast instagram and then also my personal instagram and we also have some video content from the shoot 
so might try and make a reel really quick just to have as like some assets for the Instagram. So I'm just going through these now. I love how these turned out. We like got this phone on Amazon, dangled it. Like it's just fun. I wrote in lipstick, that's my handwriting. We all fought over who was gonna have to write it because none of us liked our handwriting. And I was like, okay, fine. But you know, you do what you can with what you have. Okay, the sun randomly came out. It's been the grossest day. It wasn't raining, it was just like humid, muggy. Um, it's six o'clock, I need some sunshine. I don't even know if I'm gonna be hot in this, but whatever. Bringing my tote because I'm, I need to put my sandals in here. I'm gonna go get myself a quick dinner. I don't really know where, I don't know where I'm taking myself. I don't really want Chipotle, I don't really want Cava, but kind of that vibe. I have like an hour and a half until Delaney and Brooke come here because we're recording the podcast tonight, which I'm really excited about. Delaney is going to be on Gals on the Go. Um, it was honestly really requested. Delaney's been on before. We're going to actually, more so we're having her on. I mean, yeah, she's my friend and we were roommates in college, but we want to talk about her move from Georgia to New York City, that transition, and also mainly her job. Her job is really cool. I get a lot of people asking me questions about what she does and you guys love when we have people on that have different jobs than we do so that's mainly why we want to have Delaney on so we're doing it at my apartment we basically switch off each week if we record at Brooke's apartment or mine we're gonna do mine today so I have to come back and set up the tripod the cameras oh the cameras haha <laughs> I had this camera charging but I totally forgot since there's a guest we need to charge the second camera. I think Brooke has that, so I'm gonna need to text her. <laughs> nice save, but yeah, these are the cameras we use. We use the Sony, <laughs> I don't even know, the Sony A6400. We, I'm a Canon girly mostly, but we use Sony cameras. But we use Sony cameras for the podcast because they can record longer than an hour or longer than 30 minutes. Whereas all the Canon cameras I have, they like stop recording after 30 minutes or so. Drying my bathing suit, that's why. It's already dry. I just need to put it away. Um, but yeah, so I need to charge that. Actually, no, I think Brooke must have it. But yeah, oh, I put the, I don't even know if I said, I put the sandals in my toe in case I have enough time to get a pedicure because we have a big Gals on the Go event tomorrow night, a meet and greet at Brooklyn Inn in Williamsburg. And I'm probably wearing open toed shoes. My toes aren't terrible, but like, it would be nice to have painted toenails. So I'm gonna see what I can do. Let's go. And I just need to get outside. I need some fresh air. I went for a long walk this morning to and from our breakfast meeting, but it's sunny out now and that just changes everything. Okay, we're back now. Went to dig. Why didn't go? I ordered it. I ended up walking outside and realizing I actually didn't have as much time as I thought I did. I was like, oh, I'll walk to the water. I mean, no, I really didn't have a lot of time. So I went and got a pedicure and I'm really, really happy about it. I was super productive. I got emails done that, because basically, you know, when I sent all those out, they're obviously going to warrant replies. So the replies were coming in while I was sitting at the pedicure. But one tip I have, if you go get a pedicure, the, the sweet moment where they do massage your feet, just put your phone down and close your eyes. And also I noticed they'll like go a little bit longer if they see that you're really enjoying it and relaxing. So I always make sure like if I'm being productive, sure, but like whenever this is a massage portion of the pedicure, I'm like, ah, relax. I get chicken, uh, the herb roasted chicken, broccoli, rice, half rice, half greens, and I always have to get the mac and cheese because it's so good and I'm so hungry. And Brooke and Delaney are gonna be here shortly so I kind of need to eat this fast and set up because they're gonna come in hot so back in the desk <laughs> it's a lot later the podcast went so well you guys like it was truly so much fun like i'm obsessed you guys are gonna really like this episode anyways now what i'm doing i'm on wetransfer.com that's what 
we use with our producer. So if we record the podcast in my apartment, my duty is to upload everything from my computer. If Brooke does it at her apartment, she does it there. It's really nice having a co-host because we can really split up the work, which is really, really nice. Um, and we also have an amazing video editor, Jordan, and then a podcast producer, Alan, who he basically edits the podcast and she edits the podcast videos. Um, so right now I'm sending him the clips from this episode so we can like mesh it all together because we record on different mics so everything sounds nice and clear and then he meshes them all together it's pretty cool so for Jordan we put everything on Google Drive organized by like audio and video and if there's any video ads and then for Alan we send him all the audio clips obviously so that's what I'm doing now we use Google Drive and we transfer what are you are you a weed transfer girl are you a Dropbox girl like let me know Computer work is done. I just took a shower. I told you guys, I'm into like two showers a day. It just feels good. I'm in my Brooklyn and robe. Shop our gals in the go bundle. You get the robe, sheets, and two towels for a better deal than if you just bought all the items separately. I always have a link down below. Maybe this is a productivity hack. I don't really know, but I have like chin acne going on right now. So like this is the Tatcha clarifying clay mask. I'm too lazy to put it all over my face and then wash it all off. It just takes so much time when really I just want to target my chin anyways. So a lot of times I'll just put it on the problem areas and this just like feels, and I don't see the acne when I have a mask on, which I love. Um, so this is the mask that I have on right now. It's the Tatcha clarifying clay mask. I'm liking it so far. I've used it a couple times and then I just bought this like foundation brush off of Amazon and I just wash it every time but this is how I apply my face masks because then it just gets under your nails and everything which is disgusting because I have like long nails so I use a brush which is amazing. So I'm comfy cozy right now. I had one load of laundry left for my Sunday reset. If you guys didn't see my Sunday reset vlog that I put in the dryer last night before bed because today's Monday and I just didn't have time to fold it, so I was just putting it on the touch-up setting for 20 minutes, and I didn't have time in that moment because I was hopping in the shower, but I was like, okay, when I get out of the shower, I'll hear it going, and then I'll remember to fold it. So these are like my whites, so I'm gonna fold those, and I also need to put away the gals on the go um, setup. Something my dad showed me when he was here, because I was like, oh my gosh, I have all this stuff. Like, the mics I put right here, um, the cameras are the cameras are charging right here, um, but then I just put them in the box, so they're, you know, I try to keep things out of sight, out of mind, it keeps me relaxed, um, but, so yeah, those go there, but then my tripods and lighting, I'm like, I don't have enough room to put these things anywhere. My dad came up with the amazing idea, not this mirror, but the mirror in my hallway, I just compact these and put them behind my mirror, like my tripods. These go in my um, coat closet, but then these I just make small and I put them behind my mirror in my hallway. I'm like, I would have never thought of that, but why not? You gotta make use of all of your space here in New York City. It's 7.44 in the morning, and I'm drinking my morning coffee, listening to music, but I just paused it for the video. Um, I was just kind of waking up a little bit, and now it's time to do my Doing Well Daily. If you guys don't know, this is a day book I designed with Doing Well Daily. This is my second one. I did a yellow one that was more based around being a college student. I mean, you don't have to be a student to use it, but it was kind of more based around my lifestyle then. And this is based around more of my lifestyle now. I always have it linked down below, but it's on doingwelldaily.com. It's the DC collab. DC in the city, I think. I love it so much. I love starting my day like this. I like to see things written out. I do use Google Calendar um, to, you know, have events and stuff in there, but just to kind of look at my whole day, I really like to do this. So I start on this side. I'll write, like, today's Tuesday. I'll write Tuesday here, the date three affirmations, three goals, like, for today, I'll probably do, like, because I'm going to work out, like, I'm healthy, 
I am strong, um, I'm loved, you know, whatever I'm feeling that day, things I need to be to affirm to myself. Goals, these are more like overarching goals, if that makes sense. So like tonight we have our gals in the go event and sometimes I get like nervous, you know, normal, but like have fun tonight. Like really just enjoy the day. I thankfully have a nice leisurely morning to myself after I work out, enjoy the morning. I don't know. Those are like the goals today, but it could be like breathe more, you know, like who knows. Today's quote, it's, it's all hard until it isn't. And I'll just trace that with a pen and marker. Wellness, what am I doing for wellness today? That could be any form of wellness. Usually for me, that means something fitness related. Um, so I'm my, I'm going to Equinox this morning with some friends and my plan is to do some cardio. I'm working on my cardio goals. So I'm gonna do the treadmill. Fill up how many times I've been drinking water. I do this throughout the day. Nourishment, for me this means food. So I'll do like breakfast, hard boiled eggs. That's probably what I'm gonna have before I work out. Lunch, I've been into wraps. Sorry about the sounds of the city, my gosh. Dinner, I believe we're ordering out because we're getting our makeup done at Brooks, so we'll probably get like sweet green or kava. But that's just so I have an idea. And then over here, I love having this get after the day portion. So I'll pull up my phone, which has my Google Cal on there with like my hourly appointments, stuff like that. So like I'm going to the gym from here to here. I actually have someone cleaning my apartment at 1. I have a call at 12. I think I gotta check on that. Dry bar, Brooks apartment for glam, stuff like that. Like today, you know, just so I can see everything. Jot it down, random to do. It's just like a random area. You can make it a note spot, like just a place to write stuff. For me, I like, I wanna go get cash to tip my cleaning lady today. I need to steam my outfit for tonight. I wanna charge my G7X so I can bring that tonight. Just like random little things. Here, I typically, so my last planner design with them, it said um, work and side hustle. So I treated work like school, all my schoolwork on this side. And then I did side hustle here, which was like my YouTube stuff. Now I don't have schoolwork, which is so crazy. So I have like work on this side and then personal here. So like, I don't know, book flights, get blah, 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 birthday gift, like random stuff like that I have here. Or you could put that here. Um, or if you have more work to do, sometimes I just have to fill this whole thing up. Um, but my goal every day is to pretty much complete my to-do, so I try not to make them too crazy. But if I do, I just bring them over to the next day, which is what I'll do. Like, there were two I didn't finish yesterday that I'll bring over to today, which is actually kind of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out, but I just wanted to walk you guys through it. Again, this is called Doing Well Daily. Um, they have a website. This is I literally designed this with her, and I'm obsessed. It's the best start to the morning. And... You can use it whenever you want because it's a single day on each page. Like, you know, this is how much I've used. But sometimes I'll, let's say I fill it out today and I didn't get all the things on my to-do list done. I'll just keep it for tomorrow. So, like, you can really make this thing last. So our video editor for the podcast, Jordan, just sent over the finished video. Not from last night. That would have been crazy. This is from last Thursday. We pre-recorded for this Wednesday. Oh, looks so good. And I just make sure like the ads are in there. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. And then I'm going to upload to YouTube. I for, there's our cute little end card. So cute. So I upload to the Gals in the Go YouTube. The video portion of the podcast goes up every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, the podcast goes up at midnight on Wednesday night. Wednesday morning, Tuesday night. But yeah. For my pre-workout breakfast, if you saw again my Sunday reset vlog, not to plug it a ton, but it was a good reset. I made some hard boiled eggs. I have a hard boiled egg maker from Amazon and I peeled them and everything. So I'm gonna have two. Um, and I just put salt and pepper on it. It was like kind of annoying, you know, it's not super annoying. The, the egg make, the hard boiled egg maker makes it super easy. It's the peeling the eggs, which is just kind of annoying. If you guys have any hacks or like if there's something easier to do, let me know. I, I just don't. But I did, I think the egg maker can do up to six. So I did six or five. I can't remember. I think six though. And now I'm just happy because I have these for the week. Sometimes I only have one, but today I'm feeling two. So 
I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna get our workout outfit on. Okay, I got my workout fit. Like I said, I'm gonna do some cardio today. I'm meeting my friend Seven Cass. I'm going to the Equinox on Bond Street, which I've never been to. And I'm like nervous. I'm like, I just made a TikTok about it. I was like, where do I walk in? Where do I check in? Where's the locker room? Like I'm so used to the one I go to. But now I'm like, ah! So I'm just wearing an all black set. My Hoka, since I'm gonna be on the treadmill, water bottle. And it's chilly out today, so we're doing this light puffer because it looks windy. So I feel like this will help kind of like break the wind. But I'm excited to go to the gym and try a new gym. Rah! <laughs> Okay, we are back now. I had a fabulous workout. Got a protein smoothie. It was so good. It's called the OPP. I think it's like, it's high protein and it was delicious. So now we're gonna make my thumbnail for my video tomorrow, the Sunday reset that I keep talking about that will already be up. Um, so I do my thumbnails two different ways. I either screenshot from the video or I'll do like three iPhone photos. For this video, I'm feeling like there's some good screenshot worthy content here. So I basically go through the edited video and screenshot random little clips that I think would be appealing to the audience um, for like the thumbnail. And then I'll go on PicMonkey and I will put off, I'll show you guys. But first, let me get the screenshots. Phone cases and mugs and stuff. Exactly. That's what Theo would want. 100%. This one's more of like, um, like a... Okay, so this might come to a surprise for some of you, but I use this website called PicMonkey. Um, I think it literally used to be called Picnic, if you guys recall. Um, I literally used to make, like photo collages with cool text for like Facebook back in the day and then it turned into PicMonkey. So what I do is I go on this website and the dimensions for a YouTube thumbnail are 1 to 80 by 720 pixels if you can see up here. So I just customize it but they have so many. Like I love Canva but for thumbnails I just, I probably should use Canva. Maybe that'll be my next journey but for now I use this for my thumbnails because I just know how to do it. So this is like a blank canvas. And then what I do is just drag and drop those screenshots I took onto. And I take more than four. I usually like to put four together, but I take more than four because some just don't look as good, you know, when they're smaller or they just don't look good all together. I want it to look a little aesthetic. I want people to, you know want to click on the video so let me know what you guys think of my thumbnails or if I should make them more fun you can also edit in the photos in the on the platform here so like this one's a little dark so I'm gonna click exposure brighten up the one on the top right there this one I have a feeling I'm not gonna like in the collage I mean maybe put my brightness up um what else Oh, that one you can barely tell. This is me on the treadmill, and I know people like to see that there's gonna be like workout content. Here, I'll make this bigger for you guys. I didn't even think about that. Um, but it's a little dark, so maybe if I brighten up the treadmill. <laughs> this isn't terrible. Then I have to decide which one do I wanna replace. <laughs> like that. I think, I think this one's gonna go. A nice springtime thumbnail. Get everybody in the spring Sunday reset mode. This one I'm actually gonna move to back and just zoom in a little bit more on me doing laundry. None of these have my face in it, which I'm fine with, but they say sometimes if you have your face in it, it does better. But I really like this thumbnail vibe. So then I'm gonna add a little bit more saturation to the flowers just cause why not? And to this one with my robe, my pink Brooklyn in robe. All right, now I do text. The font I use is called Contralto Small Regular Italic, and I do all caps, so this is Sunday Reset Vlog. Or I could call it Sunday Reset with me. I usually do the text on the thumbnail will either be very similar to the title or a little bit different. I mean, it's usually similar, Sometimes it's the same exact title, sometimes it's different. I take the rectangle shape, I make it white, 
move layer, oh wait, not move, move layer backward so it kind of makes the text pop more. I've gone back and forth with doing this, but I find it's just the most legible if I put this um, shape behind it. I think that looks really good. Um, or should I do Sunday Reset with me? I think I'll do Sunday Reset with me and maybe put Sunday Reset Vlog in the title, perhaps. I'll thin out this rectangle just a tad. I don't even know. Oh. All right, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And then the last step I do, so I just download it to my computer. Then I, I do like to see how it looks um, on like YouTube. So I'll just upload the thumbnail. How does it look there? I think it looks pretty darn good. I don't know, is the treadmill too dark? No, I think it really encapsulates Sunday Reset, so. That was how I make a thumbnail, then I'll come up with the title, finish out the description. But yeah, that was fun, right? So something I just don't enjoy making or figuring out to do is lunch. I don't know why, it's just so random to me, but sounds like an ad. Ever since, I just started eating wraps. I think they're so great. I love Lenwich so much. As you guys know, I get a spinach wrap, so it's like the spinach wrap with turkey, avocado, red onion, lettuce, tomato, and provolone cheese, and then oil and vinegar on top. It's so good, it's so filling, it fuels me through my day, I feel like I'm nurturing my body. So, yeah, oh, the cleaning lady's here. Okay, I'm about to head over to Brooke's apartment and Kat is doing our makeup for tonight, so we're gonna like get ready over there together. I just steamed this, this is my outfit for tonight, gotta wear pink for Gals on the Go. We're doing our Brooklyn and meet and greet shopping event for people that RSVP'd, so we're really excited. Um, so this little moment is from Revolve. I'm just packing my bag, bringing a lip gloss to touch up after like Kat leaves us, gum, because we're gonna be talking to people, and like a hairbrush, my G7X to take cute pictures. Delaney is coming as well, which is gonna be really helpful for like taking photos and just being our, our gal, which I'm really happy. Delaney has never been to any of my meet and greet events, anything, which is so crazy to think. I'm bringing these heels, they're Jeffrey Campbell, they're comfortable, so I thought that would be perfect. And then we're gonna head over, so I'm just wearing this Abercrombie bodysuit. Woo! Good morning. It's an eye patch morning. I just sat outside on my chair and I got morning sun because from like 8.30 to 9.30 every morning, I've been getting sun on my balcony. It's cold out today, but I've got my Brooklyn and robe on. But like, it feels so good. It feels good to get some morning sun, but I'm making some coffee. It's a, Wednesdays are always a big day, as you guys know, because I upload a new video. We also um, post our Gals on the Go podcast episode every Wednesday. Ooh, I did too much coffee for this. Um, I forgot that this cup, I should have only done eight ounces, but I did 10. This is one of our new merch items though. It's so cute. We came out with merch today. Um, and a, yeah, new episode, new merch, and my new YouTube video. So Wednesdays are big days. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to sip this. Delaney just like randomly FaceTimed me when she was washing her face and like getting ready for the day and I was washing my face and it was a very sweet moment. It's fun to start your day with someone if you live alone. So last night was so much fun by the way. I don't even think I vlogged. Thank you to everyone who came. It was truly so special. We got to have the most meaningful conversations. Some of you guys, a lot of you guys, I was like, wait, I've met you before, but it was like, like one of the people or one or two of the gals we met, we had brought them on stage at the live show. So we didn't really talk to them much but I was like I know your face another girl I met at the Whitney Museum very briefly so we got to have a longer conversation it was so cool so shout out everyone that came some Georgia Bulldogs came it was a good time and a lot of you guys that were there had bought the bundle and were showing us photos of your bed it was really really cute so it was lovely but I am gonna go so basically to walk you guys through what I'm about to do is we have episode graphics that we have for the podcast. So this week's episode is all about apartment essentials, tips for moving into your own place, kind of the gal's guide, like things that we think are essential, some non-essentials, but that we just love, tips for moving alone or with a roommate. So we have like these fun collages that Emma makes us. 
that we post when the episode goes live and then we also have it in story format and then we also post a YouTube video version as you guys know so I'm gonna I uploaded the YouTube version but we actually had to make an edit like last night when I got back um, one of the ads we had to add in so I'm gonna re-upload the video and put this thumbnail um, and then we also have a ton of photos from the merch shoot as I showed you guys I think earlier in this video so I'm, I might try and make a reel I have to do all this in 45 minutes though so we're gonna see how much I can done because I have a workout at 10 30 and I like to walk so I'm gonna leave at 10 um but yeah these are some photos from last night they like set up a bed um with our bundle on it I don't know if you guys can see but that was really cool and it was really cool to see um like there they had signs in the store like I was like I've never been in a store like this before it was pretty cool can you see this I've never been in a store before so that was pretty cool um, and I uploaded a new YouTube video. Let me make sure it went live. <laughs> it's literally Christmas morning on Wednesdays and Sundays. Yay! My Sunday reset routine, the thumbnail that you guys made with me yesterday, is up. There's some common. Clean sheets hit different, someone said. Satisfying Sunday reset routine vlog. I've been checking all morning waiting for today's vlog to drop. I love you guys so much. Okay. Oh, I gotta take another slip of this, huh? Alright, we have another productive day ahead of us. set from set active it's a fun green color I've got these socks are from Amazon APL sneakers it's like cold out so we're doing this jacket it's from nasty gal um we're having a green day I also love the sleeves of this it keeps you nice and warm it looks like it's windy out it was kind of windy yesterday um but we're going green day so yeah every Wednesdays I do strength training with Jane I'm like so proud of myself, like cardio yesterday felt so good, and I think I'm going to do cardio again on Friday, um, so hitting my goals for sure, but I'm trying to like balance out all the different workouts I do. So yeah, we're going to walk there, might run a couple errands on my way back, and then did all the posting this morning except for merch, because I want to like make a cool Instagram reel, I did not have time. Um, to do that of like our new merch like videos and stuff um, But yeah, I always look forward to my walk to the gym. It's really nice. I walk through Washington Square Park It's lovely. This water bottle <laughs> Has been with me for so much. This hydro flask was with me in college when I was a spin instructor like Sometimes I'm like I kind of want to get a black one, but you gotta st stick back to your roots, you know yellow was my color in college so Let's go, start the day, happy hump day. the gym here's the most random haul got myself some sunflowers I haven't had sunflowers in my apartment in a hot minute cucumber for hummus cottage cheese my favorite cottage cheese I'm obsessed it's from the brand good culture I get the low fat 14 grams of protein you guys it's so good then popped in I wanted to get more real techniques um, like sponges to apply makeup I want to try this Revlon Color Stay foundation. I needed like a lighter foundation for when I don't wear makeup or when I don't tan. Guys, this, holy shit. 
I saw this and my I literally shed a tear. This is the Revlon Not Just Nudes. I don't even know what it is. It's like they're cream eyeshadows. The way that this specific palette, I was like, no way. This looks like the colors. And I go, not just nudes. I used to use this all the time. It's so great. I have been looking for, like, cream eyeshadow to just kind of swipe on my lid if I want, like, something, but I don't want to, like, do a whole thing. This is perfect, and I saw it, and I can't believe they still sell it. I was so excited. So, it's my little random purchase. I just took a lovely, lovely shower, I do have to say, and I've, of course, put on my robe, headband. I'm about to film a campaign, a really cool brand, designer brand, actually, that I'm so honored to be working with. So um, I want to make it good, and I want to look super cute. I want to make all my campaigns good, but this one, I was just like, oh my gosh. So I'm going to do my makeup, but I was like, you know what? I'm loving doing short-form content, as you guys know, so I thought it'd be fun to do a little, like, makeup video of some sort for, like, TikTok Reels, and I have all these new products, not all, just a few, that I want to try, so I thought it'd be fun to do, like, trying out new makeup products, get ready with me kind of vibe. So I'm going to try out this Revlon Color Stay Foundation, these eyeshadows, this one-size setting spray, Laneige Serum to, like put on my face before makeup and then this is not new to me but I just need to do some lymphatic drainage I don't even know if I showed you guys this Audrey Trellinger we were doing a workout the other day and she just like stuck her phone on the mirror and I was like how did you do that I got it it's like a suction I think it's called an octo buddy I don't know if that's the brand I got but that's what I looked up on Amazon and you just adhere it to the back of your phone and it literally sticks the sti I've had this on my phone for over a week now, and it hasn't, like, gotten any less sticky. It's amazing. It's my new party trick. <laughs> Gonna make an iced decaf coffee here. Just press the ice button. Yum, yum, yum. I need to wake up. <laughs> Me drinking decaf coffee to wake up. It works, okay? I just filmed the try-on one. I'm really, really proud of it. I felt so cute, and then I sat down and I edited it immediately. Uh, I felt so cute. I liked the outfits a lot. Um, now I'm about to film one more campaign, and then um, I might keep my makeup on. I don't really know, but I'm going to a hip-hop class tonight with my friend Danielle. Two Danielles doing hip-hop together. Uh, so I'm pumped. So I get to put on a little hip hop -y outfit, whatever that means for you. <laughs> All right, we're going to Broadway Dance Center. I'm doing a hip-hop class. I'm so excited. I'm just wearing, like, a white sports bra, white tank, um, Nike Pros. These Nike sweatpants, my New Balance sneakers. I usually do have always done hip hop and Converse, but mine got destroyed at the national championship. Um, so they're no longer with us. I have a matching hoodie for this sweatshirt, so I was like, might as well wear it because it's like kind of chilly out. It's warmed up a lot since this morning. Like this morning I was literally wearing a puffer because the sun hadn't really come out yet, but I'm excited. I'm a little nervous, but I'm more so excited and I've been wanting to get back into dancing, performing in some capacity. So you go, you learn a combo, and then you do it a lot. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. Thursday's my favorite day of the week, fun fact. Very busy day ahead, mainly the middle of the day. I have like four calls back to back. Today's the day I decided to schedule all my calls. Um, so with that, it's 7.30 and we're gonna schedule and just plan today's day out with my doing well daily. Um, I'm gonna listen to some relaxing music, and this is gonna be really important for me today, just like the back-to-back. -to -back. I obviously have everything in my Google Cal, but I just like to visualize and see how much time I have in between each call and all that, so happy Thursday. All right, the weather is really confusing me right now. Like, it's like kind of chilly, but I'm like, is this enough? Should I add a vest? But also, it's gonna warm up. Anyways, going to New York Pilates with my cl with my cl with my friend Clara. She's in town for the week. We're actually going to stagecoach together, too. Um, so I'm really excited to be seeing her a lot this next week. 
Um, let me check the weather again. But yeah, we're gonna, it's 49. I feel like I need a vest. We're gonna go to Pilates and then some breakfast and then we might go to Soho and she tried on something yesterday that she was like, this is perfect for Stagecoach but didn't end up buying it. And I'm a terrible influence. So I'm like, I'm gonna take you back there soon. You're gonna buy it today. This vest is from Eve's from Revolve. I don't know, I definitely need to be leaving right now. It's cream and this, my socks are white. I feel like it's too. Should I just risk it for the biscuit and just do the sweatshirt? We're gonna do it. Ah! All right, had a lovely morning with Clara. Went to breakfast, Pilates, did a little, I helped her find some things for Stagecoach. I just forgot I have these huge ice cube trays. Like I have like, it's like a thing of four. So I just put a huge ice cube and poured my kombucha in this glass since I had these really cool ice cubes. I have multiple calls back to back. The first one is actually with Brooke another company so that's in three minutes i'm gonna prep for that i'm not gonna shower yet i feel kind of gross but i'm going on a walk with my friend later so i'm like i should shower after that you know and i just didn't have time i got back and i had like 10 minutes before this call so that's what we're doing now um but yeah it's pretty much gonna be back to back calls i have like 20 minutes in between and i have some stuff on my to-do list that I wanna get done in between calls. So very productive day. <laughs> All about this video, right? All right, I ended up showering because I literally felt disgusting in my last call, but my last call was really good. Hopping on to our last call of the day. Woo, okay. <laughs> done with all the calls. Oh my gosh, you guys are just gonna literally die at some of the things we're coming out with this year for girls. Like, oh, just other stuff. Um, good calls, good calls all around. It's so funny, I had two different calls today with Brooke, so it's like, she was like, so what was your call in the middle? Like, it's just so funny. Um, then we just did our little post call FaceTime, of course, because we have to recap and we had to work on some things that they asked us to do. Yeah, I just need to submit one more thing via email and then I'm going on a walk with my friend Seb. We're gonna do a little West Side Highway walk. Um, and the weather's actually quite lovely. So, and I obviously showered and I changed. I'm just in my set active era. It's really cute. It's this brown set. I can't really work out in it, unfortunately, but it's this beautiful like brown mocha color. And then these are the leggings. They're um, like split hem at the bottom. And it's honestly so flattering. I really like it a lot. So I think I'm gonna wear this on our walk with a jacket. I always just like look outside and I look at what people are wearing. Okay, I just threw on this The Bar sweatshirt and I'm packing my little bag for my walk. And I think we're gonna walk down West Side Highway and then end up at Trader Joe's cause she wanted to grab something for something she's cooking tonight. And I was like, actually, I'll show you guys later, but I have a meal in mind and I just need some like salad ingredients for it. And I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while. So I'm packing like my little super foldable um, thing here and my, this is a Dagny Dover bag. It's really cute. I was like, I'll go with the, the brown scheme. It's a little smaller than my Lululemon one, but it's like so cute and it goes with all the brown tones that I'm wearing Hoka's. But yeah, my friends Seb and I are going for a walk and that's all you need to know. <laughs> I'm so secretive. <laughs> Just kidding. This bag is not gonna fit everything. This one I have from H&M, it's just a little bit roomier. I was literally about to leave my keys here. I was like, oh, I'll just bring a couple cards. Uh, no, you do in fact need your keys. The last apartment I lived in, I didn't have to use real keys. But I haven't left my keys in here once, surprisingly. I'm bringing a girl on a bar in case I get hungry, because I don't really know how long I'll be out. My AirPods, lip balm, my phone can actually fit in this one too. And honestly, the cream kind of goes better with my sweatshirt, so. <laughs> I don't know why I overthink these things. I was gonna just switch and then not tell you guys, and I was like, but then they're gonna see in my vlog and be like, wait, why'd she switch? Oh, here I am leaving the star of the show. I These fold up better, actually, I'm just lazy. I'll put it in the little front pocket. Boom, okay, now we will go for our walk. Self tan has been applied. I'm just doing some tidying up. I was cleaning the kitchen. My meal was delicious. And yeah, I'm going to get a little bit more work done and then watch some TV and go to bed. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys so much. Hopefully you enjoyed this very productive, I think, <laughs> week in my life. This little hair, that's so funny. 
Um, but make sure to subscribe if you guys are new here. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and it's a really good time, I promise. So yeah, I'd love to see you guys back on the channel, and thank you for watching. Bye!